I mean, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and your participation in the, uh, Canada's Worst Handyman Show. Uh, well, my name is Matt, and uh, I grew up with a guy, a uh, good, good friend of mine from high school, uh, Corey, and he uh, is my nominator for the show. And a lot of my buddies are trades guys, and I'm not, so they've always kind of made fun of my lack of handy skills. Uh, I bought a house last summer, so of course, uh, you know, I started to really need to know how to do this stuff, and um, I didn't. And so that's kind of how it, it, it started. And then uh, they interviewed me, and they came to the house and saw that uh, I don't know what I'm doing, and I get a bit frustrated. And, you know, I, I came, I, I had to replace the garage door opener, and at one point, uh, I had the old garage door opener up with the crew here filming me and I was hanging from the old garage door opener trying to get it off to put up the new one and it, it didn't go so well. The whole thing ended up crashing down and then the director says to me, well, what's that button? And I look at the button and it says reset. So really I didn't need a new garage door opener. I just needed to press reset. But by that point it was all in pieces on the floor. so. I, you know. but, but if you're named Canada's Worst Handyman, that's kind of a dubious honor. Are you have any reservations about that title? Oh, yeah. Do you actually go on to win? I, I had more a... More ridiculed? Oh, for sure. I, I've had a great you're experience. Okay with that. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and I knew going into this that this probably won't look good uh, for me. But, you know, I, I don't really care about that considering what I got out of it. And, and what I hope to get out of it, which is what I got out of it, which is... Uh, a lot of skills when it comes to this type of stuff, which is what I wanted. And also, uh, I, you know, I figured, hey, it, it, it gives me an opportunity to learn, you know, take a, basically a crash course yeah. in home repair. And, and it was that. I mean, it covers everything. And, uh, you know, you're, you're filming for 12 hours a day, uh, 18 days. Uh, they're constantly in your face with a camera. So you're okay with the whole experience? You were fine? Oh yeah, it was great. And mainly because they really did a good job taking care of us and, and as far as, you know, helping us out when we needed help, but providing challenges that definitely tested us quite a bit.